Hey everybody, it's Callum and welcome back to more Let's Play Twilight Princess HD and Midna still wants to say something to us. What is this thing? No matter how much we tear it apart, it comes right back together again. That... We've already beaten the Stalfos, Midna. Just saying. Anyway, last time we... We killed the Stalfos. <laughs> And we started things off in the Arbiter's Grounds. That's the more important thing here. And here we can see... A snake lady. Uh, I'm going to... Roll and... There we go. That's good. Well, let's light these torches. Because that seems to be what we're supposed to do here. Oh... Um... Right. Okay. Oh, okay, you do actually do damage. <laughs> I was going to build up a spin attack to get rid of all of you quite swiftly, but no, apparently not. Oh, is there a certain order to it? So this one's first, definitely. Let's go middle. Nope, that is also wrong. We probably learned the order. Uh, later. Okay. Well, at least we can practice our spin attacks. Oh, the efficiency of our spin attack is amazing. Right. Let's just go right back through then and head through the other door that we saw. Okie doke. Uh. Oh, never mind. It wasn't a door. It was a chest. With some bombs. Alright. Uh, this door. Let's head back through this way. Because we need to be hunting down a Poe. Wait, never mind. It did go through here. <laughs> then where the heck could it be? Oh my god, I am an idiot. This does have an order. That we that much we know. Uh, get back on the path. I just want to do the cool little roll to the other side sort of thing. <sighs> we can see what the pattern was by doing this. So it come around here, lit that one, then that one, and then went through the door. Okay. So we don't have to light all of them. Just two. Fair enough. I was under the impression that we had to light every single torch in a specific order, but no. Right. From what I can see, there are two Poes in here. But I could be very, very mistaken. Okay, there's no pose in here. Oh, no, never mind. There it is. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Ugh. They are all very creepy. I don't even know which one's the real one. You. No, that didn't work. Yep, you. Got it. So you just gotta keep watching until they glow purple. I have a feeling it's gonna be you. Come on. No, it wasn't. It was you. It's you. It's you. There we go. Alright, and now let's just finish. There we go. Another Poe soul collected. Which means we only have one more. And it's that other one we found last time. Right, so this will take us back to the main hub. I keep saying the main hub. It's not really a main hub of any kind, really. But it will take us back to the main room. 
Uh, I'm gonna want to go around this way. Alright, just jump over the... Th you... You... Are you for real? Like, are you actually for real? Okay. Just to be extra, extra safe. We'll do that. Right. So that's the third flame. We just need one more. But how we get that last flame... It's actually quite hard. So I know we go down here. But then what? We'll, we'll take out this bubble. That'd be a good start. Right. What is that chewing noise? Is there a bubble in the room above? Because that's actually very annoying. Eh, yeah, well. The downsides of having uh, headphones on. Right, so if I turn this the, that way, that reveals the path ahead of us, or above us, I should say. Is there a claw shot target up there, though? No, uh, no, uh, uh, uh throw. <laughs> I kind of panicked. Hmm. So how do we get up? Oh, there is a claw shot target, but just not where we could see it. Oh, it's rats. Ugh. I once had a friend who had a pet rat. Emphasis on the word had. Okay, so we can see the Poe went through this door. Ooh, and I, I think it's right here. It is, but there's also bubbles here that I want to take care of before. Uh, come on, there we go. I don't get what that Poe is doing, it's just looking at the wall. Alright, come on. Turn purple, thank you. Bite on your neck. Turn purple. Ah, You're easier than all your brothers. That's nice of you. And there we go. The last of the pose. God, they are so creepy in this game, though. In all other Zelda games, they're not too creepy. But here, they just seem to be especially creepy. Uh, put down the skull. Thank you. Right, so let's go back to the hub. I keep calling it a hub. Not, still still not really a hub. But, uh, but yeah. Do this in style. We'll go in as Link. Because... I don't want to go as the wolf. Probably gonna be something stupid to make us become the human form anyway, so. No, that is actually definitely the. the uh, Goron symbol. So it must mean the Gorons made those chains. Which is pretty. pretty neat. Anyway, the way forward has been opened. And we have so much more of this dungeon left. Like, look at all of what we haven't explored. Jeez. But not too terribly long. Just not very short. Uh, get your sword out of the ground. That's always puzzled me, like, how a sword gets stuck in stone. Like, I don't know too terribly much about swords, but I I just think the 
the likelihood of stabbing a sword into stone is pretty improbable anyway, but that could just be me talking out of my ass, but... Ooh. Now we've got a fall. Uh, what's down there? Screw it. I didn't roll. I was gonna roll, but I didn't. What if we turn it this way? Does it go down or up if we turn it this way? Okay, that goes up. I wanted to go down because I did see a slight doorway a second ago. Okay, I can't go down anymore. There's just this doorway, which requires a key. Do we have a key? Uh, don't think it really says, unless it's in the map. Yeah, I don't know. But we can keep that in mind, that there's a key needed for that, that little door down there. There's a chest in here, and a bubble. Oh. I forgot to kill the bubble. Right. This chest is probably going to be the small key we need. I'm just guessing. And since we don't immediately need to go back up, we can just take it back down to the door. Come on, Link. One more push. There we go. Let's head through. I'm really hoping we get the dungeon item very soon because I know... Right. Despite this being blind, I know what the dungeon item is. And everybody has mixed opinions on it, but I think it looks pretty cool. And I hope it functions as cool as it looks. Because, like, I know how it functions, and I am, I think I'm being attacked in the, uh, in the, yeah, okay, there we go. I was right. I was, in fact, being attacked by spirit rats. Uh, Midna, there are no spirit rats on you. I can clarify that, because there are no, we cannot see any. I keep calling them spirit rats, they're pretty much, uh... It's pretty much what they are, I guess. Alright. Okay, come on. Yeah! There we go. Teach you to mess with Link, the hero of Twilight. Ugh. Well, I guess technically we're not the hero of Twilight yet. I don't know. Let's break these. Um... If we pull this, does this slide back into place? It's my big worry. Yes, it does. Okay. So, we just need to get around quickly. As quickly as we can make it. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay. Let's go back to our human form, because I think that'll be a little bit easier. Come on. Don't drown, don't drown, don't drown. Okay, cool. Uh, I got more of these bugs. What actually happens if you... Do these bugs even hurt you? Or do they just really slow you down? Because if that's the case, we can just wait for all of them to get onto us and just spin them all off and they all die. Pretty easy. Okay. Roll right past here. Uh, there is a... Oh, Uku! It's Uku on the other side. Phew! Free at last. Gracious. You're that nice fellow who helped me out the other day. How nice to see you again. Uh, I think you'll find it's over a year ago, buddy. 
Probably not, actually. It, it, it's been a while, but I don't think it's been over a year since we last saw Uku. Depends on whether we saw him in the last dungeon or not. I don't know. Right, let's wait for these things to get back on us again. There we go. Now we can switch to a wolf form, and I, I assume... I, yeah, we won't get hurt from this. Because <laughs> Midna is... Apparently an ethereal being that just can't be hurt by solid objects. I don't know. Uh, we got more Stealthos. Alright. Come here, you buggers. Alright, do that. Place a bomb. No, don't throw the bomb. Great, now we have to get rid of these guys again. Unless we can just... No, oh, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Alright, we got both of them again. Place the bomb. Get out of the sand. And boom goes the Stalfos. Okay. Uh, there's another Stalfos over there, but can we climb up this? Yes, of course we can. Oh, there's actually no way out from there. Okay. Oh, I don't want to... Maybe we can just blow it up when it's straight up dead? Okay, I'm not sure if that actually worked or not, so I'm just gonna throw one more. Okay. It doesn't work. I was gonna say he was—he's not even like dead, but no, he no. I mean, alive. Wrong choice of words. All right, and we're gonna roll over again. Wait for that to kill the Stalfos. Roll back over, and the way forward has been opened. Apparently, uh, we can't get up there now. Okay. Well, roll back. And uh, where was the? Was it over here? Maybe. Well, we can be our, our wolf form so we don't get hurt. Where was that? Where was that thing that opened up? Was it this way? Oh, okay. yeah, okay, it was. Uh, I'll be human form for this. Uh, kind of because we have the bugs, but eh, we also have claw shot targets, so. Come on, bugs. <laughs> Join your king. Wait. Did that make Agatha the queen? Nope. I'm not all about that life. Thank you very much. I don't know. It's just Agatha. I'm sure she's a very lovely, lovely person, but... I think Link's heart belongs with Zelda. Even though... He has met her like twice in this game. I don't know. Kind of making my own head cannon here, but yeah. Uh, we can actually roll up the slope just to give us a little bit of an advantage. Come on. Okay. Are those bugs gonna be. Fo yeah, the bugs are gonna be following us up. Uh, can we jump across and make it? Yeah, we can. Because Link is a professional gymnast. Oh, you know when the door fades to black, we got a mini boss coming up. Oh god. What is this? Uh, didn't mean to do that. Let's try cutting. Cutting the ropes. Does that work? Okay, the sword is alive. Uh, I have a feeling... I have a feeling our wolf form is going to be used here. Ah, it's like a giant Poe. That's cool. Ah, I know it's when we have to attack him then. 
There. That's actually pretty interesting. Whoa, you are creepy. Oh my god. Uh, now I think we can go back to our human form. Uh, let's just quickly get our bow. There we go. Okay, I managed to hit you with a bow. Where have you gone? Oh, hello. Uh, come on. Gaia. Alright, let's just whack his head open. Kind of gruesome. Uh, let's just aim our bow right at his stupid face. Oh, no, 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 you are staying dead. Ah, crap. I'd say you are staying dead, but I guess it's undead? I don't know. We're going to be killing the undead, so. That, that concept just never makes sense anyway. Are you done? Yeah, you are. And you turn into a swarm of locusts. Very Prince of Egypt of you. No cute doke. So now, of course, with it being a mini boss, and in a new dungeon, we get the new dungeon item the spinner. I know what this is, I know what it's like, but they could have given it a better name than Spinner. I mean, Jesus. That... There we go. Thank you, Link. <laughs> For cooperating. Um, why does it give us a path above the door? That's what I want to know. Oh well, we have a new dungeon item. <laughs> Let's be grateful that we even have it. And of course, this opens up a bunch of new possibilities for us. Like that. And of course I did that wrong, didn't I? But now that we have the spinner, I'll see you guys next time. Where we where we will be finishing the Arbiter's Grounds. Goodbye, everybody.